Here I'll show you how to add a really natural and cool looking shine effect to your photos. Now I'm gonna make this part of the sword shine with a nice anime, what I like to call a sheen. So first I'll make a brand new layer on top, B for brush, right click, make sure you're using the default uh, kind of, I, don't, I call it the default round brush for Photoshop. Put your hardness all the way down and your size kind of large. You can use the brackets left and right on your keyboard to control the size. Press D to make your colors black over white and then press X to invert them. I'm going to press number two to put my opacity of the brush down to 20%. Click one time over where you want the shine to be. Now I'm going to press my brackets down to make it a little bit smaller and click a few more times to add a nice little glare. So we've got the glare. Now let's make the sheen. So right click, make your brush larger. And here's the trick. We're going to squeeze our brush down by changing that. So now our brush is no longer a circle, but it's a long shine. So I'm gonna press caps lock to change my cursor from the brush preview to a crosshair so you know exactly where the brush is going to land. So I'm gonna keep my brush right here in the center of this shine. And if I click one time, we see a nice little horizontal streak from left to right. Now here's the cool trick. We can use left and right arrows on our keyboard to rotate the brush. So actually turn caps lock off so we can see what's happening here. There we go, see, I'm just holding left and right. And as it keeps rotating, I can just click whenever I want, how often or however little I want, and it adds a nice big lens flurry shine. Now that's gonna be too big. We can actually size that down by pressing V, make sure our show transform tools are turned on on the top, click on a corner, hold Alt, and we can scale it based on the center point. We can drag it back over there, there we go. But uh, yeah, I like that. There's a lot of possibilities here. Another way to do this is if you have an energy source or a light source, instead of making them cross through the center, we can actually rotate around the center like this. So I'm going to, again, hold my right or left arrow, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna make sure that these are always pointing down into the center. So I hold it for a little bit, let go, click. Hold it for a little bit, let go, click. See how I'm always making sure that it's pointing towards the center of that circle or whatever your light source or energy source is. That's the key to realism. Make sure that there's always pointing towards the brightest light source. That's what lens flares are. They, they come off of and uh, glares come off of light sources, not just any random thing. Sorry, JJ Abrams, but you do have to have a light source. There we go. You can also add a little bit of kind of complimentary ones, add a little extra, a little extra anime style, yeah, little anime lines. Also experiment with playing with the size and the thickness setting that you saw earlier. So that looks kind of cheesy right there, to be honest, but this technique is really helpful for muzzle flashes, energy blasts, and things like that. So hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.